Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's me again Chelsea and today we are doing a, another video in the countdown to Christmas and today I'm going to be talking to you about my indie recs from this year. So these are books that I have read in the year of 2022 that I have enjoyed and I'm going to tell you about them. Basically that is the sum up. <laughs> um, I don't know how in detail I will go in all of these books but I will link the Goodreads down below for you guys so you can check them out yourselves and yeah that's it let's just get straight on into it. So my first recommendation is of course the Onyx Born Chronicles this is a finished trilogy now so this is called From the North this is the very first book and we have got the other three the, the other three I can't count the other two books here uh you can't see because this isn't the way but you've got Darkest Dusk there, and then The Fury of Fate, which is the third and final book, which came out this year, actually. So, all three books, and I read the whole series this year, which is pretty good going for me. So, this series follows a young gentleman called Ogolf, who comes from this little village called Keltbran, and they have to flee due to an oncoming siege, and it all spirals from there. We find out a lot about these characters throughout this series. Book one is mainly the journey from their village to their destination and kind of discovering their purpose and then obviously books two and three progress that storyline a lot more. This is quite a I would say like a viking story in that regard. There's a lot of fight scenes and a lot of strategy is mentioned in this book and it's actually very clever how it's done. I really enjoyed it so I recommend this series wholeheartedly. The author DW Ross progresses throughout this series so well. He, this is his first ever series and it's so good. I really enjoyed it, always recommend it. So this is my first recommendation. My next recommendation is The Light Giver which I'll put up here because I don't own an actual physical copy. I was gifted an audiobook of this to review and I really enjoyed it. So this is a first, I think, in a trilogy. I don't know when the rest of the books are coming out, but we are following our main character, Kane, and he discovers that he's got a talent that hasn't been seen in his area of the world ever or maybe not for centuries so he's got to travel to the place of which it originates and there is a travel story involved there is another street there is another strong female lead character as well in this series i can't remember her name because i'm terrible with names but they kind of partner up and then carry on their journey together there's a lot of development al alone in the first book which is fantastic and i'm actually really looking forward to continuing on with this series as it progresses when i don't know but i'm looking forward to giving it more of my time as more books come out that makes sense right from there we have got my all-time favorite series of 2022 like this is the first time i'm saying it and i'll say it again in my best books of the year this is the third and final book bonds of chaos but the first book is called voice of war and it is by zach argyle he is an indie publisher i read the first two books um obviously no. I read the first two books audibly and then read the third one through this beautiful arc that he very kindly sent me, which is amazing. This series is so clever. It is amazing. Every book for me got five stars. I loved it. I love the character development. I love the characters in here. There are multiple POVs within this book. Our main one being um, a gentleman called Chris, who in the very first book, like the very first chapters, he was taking his child to have this it's not a procedure it's more like a tradition done where they put drops in their child's eyes and it shows what kind of thread weaver they are in this world thread weaving is the magic concept if you've got blue eyes you control or you can thread weave with blue which is air and if you've got green eyes you can thread weave with earth and if you've got brown eyes it means you're achromatic which means you're normal you can't thread weave at all and everything kicks off when the ritual kind of goes wrong because there are drops put into his child's eyes and they turn out to be amber and that is like an unheard of colour at this point. Throughout this book we discover more about maybe non-traditional thread weavers which is very very cool. There's a lot of high stakes in this book. The relationships are phen phenomenal. I love them. I just... I love this series and I will recommend this series always. Um, I know the Broken Binding are doing special editions of these books so I will be purchasing hopefully if I get the funds 
I will be purchasing um, the whole collection hand signed and dated because I love this series and I need the whole thing in physical because it's just so good so if you get a chance to check it out definitely definitely do because it's amazing and I want to know your thoughts it's amazing from there we have the book that took me the longest time to read even though it is pretty small and that is girls all this is the arc copy that i'm holding up for you i do have the finished copy up here look at me with all of my shells i never used to have this many shells so this is the finished edition which is very cool i'll carry on showing you this edition so this is out in hardback and if you notice you might see a fam well you'll see many familiar names but you might see one familiar name on here just saying it's me i'm on here but yeah, so this is Gerzel. This is like a historical retelling with fantasy. Uh, so my description of this book is death cults and dragons mixed with British history that you need to read. And I stand by that. It is pretty good. So Gerzel is our dragon and he is the head of a death cult. And we follow multiple perspectives in this book. One being George, as in, I think, St. George who slays a dragon. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that ties in. There's a bit of Morgana in there. There's a princess called Sabra in there who is from the desert and she is dealing with her own things, which is quite interesting. It's very good. I really enjoyed it. Took me a little while to get into it. I think it took me like 100 pages or so to get into the full flow of the story. Um, but I have got Baden Hill on my shelves down here that I do need to read <laughs> sooner rather than later. And I am getting to it, I promise. But uh, yeah, I wanted to recommend this book to you because I really enjoyed it. And it took me a while to read, but it didn't take me a while to read because I didn't enjoy it. It took me a while to read because I was easily distracted at that point. And we're back in that mood now. We're a bit slumpy now, so... That's also fun. So another fantastic recommendation. The next one that I'm going to recommend to you that I also don't own is here and it is The Iron Crown by L.L. McRae. This is the first book in a new series. She already has another series out which starts with Maroda and I don't know what the overall series of that is called. Um, but I've read The Iron Crown this year and I read it audibly and it was really good I really enjoyed it it's a really good setup for the rest of the book um, and then she's also got a novella out called the citron key which kind of backpedals a bit and is more of a prequel which gives you more of an idea of what happened before this book which kind of sets off the events of this book there are dragons in this book as well we love dragons um, and it's a basically this young man wakes up on this island and he doesn't remember his name, doesn't know who he is, doesn't know where he is or how he got there. And these two girls find him and they agree to take him back to the mainland. And through this, one of the girls is also going back to the mainland for the funeral of, I believe it's her father. And there's a whole heap of chaos that ensues. They get split up at one point. They come back together, which is quite nice. It's it's a really good read and I think it's a really strong start for a new series. I need to finish the novella actually which could actually work well because I'm kind of behind on my reading goal so I need to finish that. But yeah it's just like an all-round good time and I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to reading more and I'm looking forward to seeing where she goes with this book. So definitely another one that I think is a phenomenal recommendation and I hope you check it out. And then my final recommendation for this video, I am cutting them down. This isn't every single every single indie I have read this year but I've cut the list down a lot because I did I could be talking for hours but I just wanted a short concise list and the last book of course if you haven't seen my vlog that went up about this book is Emma Wang's book The Sword of Kagan. I hated this book but I love that I hated this book. It's a five star read for me. It is so good. It was so enjoyable in the end. There is a very strong feminist vibe in me for this book that made me very, very mad because there is a lot of sexism within this book. Women should stay in the kitchen, women should take care of the children, that is it. They cannot defend themselves, they are fragile. And our main, well, one of our main characters, Misaki, completely decimates this ideal and it's fantastic to watch. I loved it. This book is so good. I recommend it all the time. I'm, well, I'm going to be recommending it all the time, but I recommend that even if it is 
it is a difficult writing style to get into and I know that people do struggle to gel with the writing style and I get that but if you can get through the writing style and the feminism is what is making you want to DNF stick through it because at the end or like the final bit there is a whole big fight between two characters and it kind of puts everything into perspective and their relationship gets so much better or it becomes more of a give and take rather than just a give 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 and I loved that I love seeing the transformation there it was so good it was so good so that is my final recommendation for this video. So there are five indie recommendations that I've got for you this year. I hope you managed to check some of them out. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports me and my channel. Leave me a comment down below of your favourite indie book that you have read this year. If you have read any, I would really like to know. Recommend them to me. Like I said, this is not all of the indie books I have read, but these are my favourites that I have read from this year. So obviously I'm recommending them to you guys and encouraging you to check them out because why not? Um, if you want to just leave me an emoji, instead of a full comment leave me a sword emoji for the sword of kaigen because I really love that and if you want to see more of me please consider subscribing down below and ring that notification bell to get notified every single time i upload new videos i am uploading every single day up until christmas eve possibly christmas day but that is yet to be confirmed so make sure you stick around if you want to see more bookish content from me but otherwise that's everything for today's video i hope you're having an amazing day and i'll see you tomorrow for another one bye